Elena. Well, Steph and Brian, we're standing outside Green Mountain Suites here in South Burlington. This is where all displaced residents are staying for the time being, and some of them could be here for up to a month. But the good news is everyone here is safe, and the evacuation process went smoothly, and here's why that is. The firemen just kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Brenda Calcaney is describing what she saw this morning at Eagle Crest. Multiple departments responded to a fire that began inside the walls of the senior housing facility. They did very, very well. Residents praised the Williston Fire Department's ability to get everyone out safely. Senior firefighter Prescott Nadow says his team is at Eagle Crest at least once a day for wellness checks or false alarms. Being familiar with the place helped the process go as smooth as it did. We see these friendly faces, they see ours. Um, we're interacting in both a fire department standpoint and an emergency medical standpoint. Um, and so developing that relationship is just a crucial piece of the community. A relationship that's been strong for years. Last July, residents gave firefighters a thank you gift in the form of a $1,500 check. These young fellows and women come over to our place to unlock doors, uh, to pick people up off the floors, to sometimes just to chat. It went towards a memorial bell, which the department plans on using during funerals and special services. Seeing the friendly faces of the firefighters that they knew from previous calls and from that bell ceremony um, was a really comforting touch. Although some units have smoke and water damage, Nato says the situation could have been much worse. It's community partnerships like this one that can help make the best of a bad situation. And the cause of the fire is still under investigation, although we do know an electrical error had something to do with it. One person was sent to the hospital for non life threatening injuries. For now, live in South Burlington tonight, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.